President Kufuado has asked the Criminal and Investigative Department of the Ghana Police Service to investigate the President of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Kwesi Nyantichi, of allegations of defrauding by false pretenses. This follows an expose by investigative journalist Anas Aromeyawa Anas of the GFA in which Mr. Kwesinyan Techi mentioned the president's name to induce investors. The documentary, which will be aired publicly on June 6th, has been viewed by President Kufuado and other prominent Ghanaians. At the Jubilee House, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Mr. Abu Jinapo, said the president is ready to crack the whip to nip corruption in the bud in all sectors. Tiger Eye, through a celebrated journalist, Mr. Anas, Aramia Anas, is advertised a documentary that is yet to be aired uh, into the affairs of the Ghana Football Association. The President of the Republic has had the benefit of viewing aspects of this investigative piece. And in this documentary, the president of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Kwesi Nyantichi, is supposedly seen attempting to use the president's name and that of the vice president and other senior officials of government to induce supposed potential investors into our country to part with various sums of monies. The president, as a responsible citizen, and indeed and in fact and more particularly as a chief custodian of our laws and enforcer of our laws, has had to consult and evaluate the content of this investigative piece. The president, after these consultations, is fully satisfied that a prima facie basis has been established for criminal investigations to be launched into uh, the conduct of the president of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Kosinia Antechi, and any other accomplices that uh, may exist. And therefore, the president is reported this matter to the legally sanctioned and mandated agencies of state, the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service, to commence investigations into this matter. The modus operandi that the Criminal Investigation Department deploys in investigating these matters and unraveling this crime and bringing perpetrators, if they may be, to book, will be left to their professional judgment, whether arrest, invitation, what have you. And we trust that the Criminal Investigation Department will do a very professional job. I can confirm that the Criminal Investigation Department of the Ghana Police Service has since launched investigations into this matter. And if I may be specific, in aspects of the crime of defrauding by false pretenses. The investigation is ongoing. We want to assure the Ghanaian people that the president is determined to fight crime, fight corruption, fight influence peddling, fight bribery, and instill discipline, integrity, and honesty into our public life. It will not matter your status in society. And this is exactly what we have seen playing out in respect of this GFA matter. We will entreat uh, countrymen and women to be calm and allow the legally mandated security services to conduct their investigations and conclude those investigations. And let me finally add that the president is absolutely determined to ensure that anybody who is found culpable in these investigations will be made to face the full rigors of the laws of our country. And still on that matter, we will now speak to the president of the Sports Writers Association, Mr. Kwabna Yabua, on his views about the latest development. Mr. Yabua, good to have you on the line. Hello, Mr. Yabua. Hello, Mr. Yabua. Hi, I can hear you. Yes, good to have you. Does this come as a surprise to you as the president of the of the Sports Writers Association and even to the members of the sporting fraternity in general? Well, I let me say that I'm really, really saddened by the state of affairs. Uh, surprise. I do not think I'm too surprised. 
But I feel very sad uh, for Kwesi Nyantechi for the simple reason that I think this is a personality who has done so well for Ghana football over the years he's been around. Uh, he's played his part and catapulted Ghana onto the global, global stage. Uh, so I feel very sad that uh, uh, events should turn this way. But if you've been following Ghana football closely, you remember um, some time ago, the Telegraph and Channel 4 in Great Britain uh, did an expose on him in which they accused him of trying to um, collect some money so to fix matches. He denied it. He, I mean, um, threatened to go to court. It, it, it never happened. Uh, but I feel very sad uh, about the turn of events. Uh, surprised, but I don't think I'm too surprised about it. But how do you think these developments will impact on the uh, sporting fraternity or, or football management in the country? I, it, it's unfortunate because it sends a very wrong signal about Ghana football to the rest of the world that this is an FA which is extremely corrupt, uh, an FA which is so tainted. Um, and you know that for some time now the FA has been battling the issue of credibility and integrity. And uh, the fact that the league, for instance, had run for three years without any um, identifiable, uh, discernible um, sponsor was traced to the fact that there was very little integrity uh, about our football. And the reason quite a number of the uh, corporate bodies were running away from our sport. So we all uh, hear the sigh of relief uh, when Dallafon came on board. But as we speak now, I mean, we'll go back to square one. It looks an apocalyptic future. Really, really tinted. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think right now, if I had to offer up some advice to the president of the um, Ghana Football Association, Mr. Kosi Nantechi, I think that it will serve his own interest if he resigned honorably uh, while the CID uh, conducted investigations into this matter. As the Deputy Chief of Staff, Abu Jinapo, advised, I will have to remain calm and wait for the outcome of this investigation. But immediately, I think the Zedek Committee of the Ghana Football Association will have to meet and call for an immediate Congress uh, to see uh, whether or not an IMC should not be put in place to look for the way forward. Because as we speak, we do not even have a second in command uh, as in the Vice President of the FA. You remember uh, he was fired by Nyantachi, um uh, a few months ago, so we don't even have a second in command. So right now, I think the general secretary of the FA can act in that capacity. But immediately, I think the clubs would have to meet um, Galka and the executive committee would have to call an immediate uh, a congress uh, to see the way forward because we do not know how this investigation is going to pan out. If indeed is defrauded, uh, allegedly defrauded by false pretense, for which reason that the president of the land, Donald Duncan Kufar, His Excellency who has uh, declared zero tolerance for corruption and it appears very serious in this regard. So it, it's a very serious matter. We don't know how it's going to pan out, what the form of the investigation is going to be, whether he's going to be arrested and put behind bars while the investigation continues, we do not know. But I think it would be untenable for Kwesi to continue in that seat as uh, he's been, uh, a prima facie case has been established. Uh, to cause his arrest. It will be completely untenable right. to continue in that seat. So I think it will be in his own interest mm. to resign as we speak whilst the uh, executive committee calls immediately for Congress to take action. Right. Thank you so very much. Mr. Kwabna Yaboa is the president of the Sports Writers Association and a veteran commentator. He has been speaking to us on the president's um, asking that the CID investigates the GFA boss over allegations of defrauding by false pretense.